Have you ever bought a brand new computer or a brand new display and you get excited to take it home because you get to edit your photos with your brand new toy and you export it and you see it on your screen and it looks beautiful, but come see it on another device like your iPhone or an Android or even on someone else's computer, you notice that the colors are off. And then you're there thinking, wait a minute, I just spent a ton of money on this new thing. Why don't my colors look good? Or if you're a wedding photographer and you shoot this amazing wedding and you spend hours and hours and hours editing these photos and they finally look incredible, but come see it on print, like on a wedding album, you notice that the colors are a little off and that the skin tones are green or the reds are a little bit too saturated. And then you're there thinking, wait a minute, I just spent a ton of money now. Why don't my colors look good? Am I going blind? One, you could be right, in which case you should probably seek some medical help. Or two, your monitor probably isn't calibrated, which is why you should probably invest in a color calibration tool like the Spider Pipe Pro and the Spider Checker. Bumper. Hey guys, Cindy DeYoungson here. First of all, big thanks to Data Color for sponsoring this episode. If you don't know Data Color, they're actually the company that makes uh, this product, the Spiderfy Pro, as well as the Spider Checker. Oh, I just realized it looks like a makeup palette. Anyway, today we're gonna take a look at both these products, starting with the Spiderfy Pro. Autofocus. Autofocus. Spiderfy Pro is this really cool advanced display calibration solution for all your laptop and desktop displays. It comes in three versions, the Spider 5 Express, which will run you about 129 US dollars, the Spider 5 Pro, which is the product we'll be reviewing today, which will run you about 189 US dollars, and the Spider 5 Elite, which will run you about 279 dollars. Now, why would I use a device like this to calibrate my monitor? I mean, couldn't I just use the profiles built into my computer or display? Sure, you totally could, but every company is gonna have their own standards as far as, as colors and gammas go. But what this does is that it helps calibrate your monitors no matter what environment you're in, whether you're in an office space with that nasty green fluorescent or in a small studio like this. Basically what this does is that it helps calibrate your display no matter what kind of display you have, whether it's a, a laptop, desktop computer, or a big old display. Whatever you have, this tool is meant to calibrate your display to show accurate colors so that it looks good across all devices. So now that you know why a tool like this is important to have, I'm gonna show you how to use it. And it's actually really easy to use and pretty fast. I mean, the whole setup itself takes about five minutes. So uh, let's show you how to do it. The first thing you'll have to do is go on the website and download their installer. Once you've downloaded the right installer for your computer, open it up and begin the installation. From here on out, all you have to do really is just follow the instructions. One of the first things that the installer will ask you to do is to place your device onto your desk. And in this step, the Spider Fi Pro will actually measure the light in your room. So whether you're working with tungsten lights or you're in an office and you're working with those nasty fluorescent lights, whatever environment you're in, this device is going to measure that light and use it for the calibration. The reason why this is very important is because any and all lights in your particular environment will greatly affect how you see images on your screen. So for example, if I'm working in an office and I have overlight fluorescence over me, that green cast will go onto my desk and onto my display and onto my eyes, giving me a fluorescent green influence on the images that I see. Or if you work in a darker environment and all around you are tungsten lights. Tungsten lights have a warmer temperature and so if you're in an environment surrounded by tungsten lights, then what you see on your display is going to have a warmer influence. So basically, if you're editing photos in an office environment with those overhead fluorescents, then the images that you see on your computer in that environment may not look the same as seeing photos in a, a, that darker studio with the tungsten lights. You see what I mean? That's why when it comes to video in post-production facilities, the editing room tends to be a little bit dark and a little more neutral so that whatever the, the colorist sees on the screen will look as accurate as possible without having um, different influences in temperature. Oh man, so much, so much science. So anyway, having something like this to measure the light in your own workspace is a really nifty tool to have so that you can edit the colors on your photos and videos accurately. After following more instructions, the installer will ask you to put your device on your screen. Just make sure to take off the lens cap, put the device on where the installer shows you, and then put the lens cap behind your computer or display as a counterweight. This part is the easiest where you just let the installer do its thing. Then once it's done calibrating, save that profile and you're ready to go. Pretty easy. Okay, so now let's take a look at some photos that I've edited before the calibration and after the calibration. And for 
for funsies, let's take a look at some video footage before the calibration and after the calibration. So that was the Spider-Fi Pro, but if you really want to take your coloring game to the next level, then check out the Spider Checker. The Spider Checker is this really cool and portable tool to help you get accurate colors in any environment. Using this thing is super easy. I mean, all you have to do is go to the location that you're going to shoot, whether it's photos or videos, put the Spider Checker on a stand or have someone hold it, take a photo of it, or take a couple of seconds of video. And in post, whether it's Lightroom, Photoshop, or even in Premiere Pro, you can use the colors on the Spider Checker to make sure that the reds are actually reds, the whites are actually whites, and the blues are actually blues, and so on and so forth. So the first thing you're gonna do is download and install the Spider Checker app from Data Colors website. When you're on a shoot, make sure to take a photo of the Spider Checker in every location you're in. Once you're done with your shoot, take your photos into Lightroom and find the image with the Spider Checker in it. Crop the image so that the Spider Checker fills the screen, select the white balance dropper and click on this gray patch to remove any color cast from the location you shot. Now hover over this white patch to see if the levels are roughly 96% white. If not, then simply adjust your exposure. Now hover over to this black patch to see if the black level are around 4%. If not, then simply adjust your black levels to around that 4%. Next, you're gonna go to the top of the menu and click on Photo, Edit In, Spider Checker Editing, and then select Edit a Copy with Lightroom Adjustments. This will open up the Spider Checker app, and the first thing you'll notice are these small dark squares within each color patch. Simply adjust the top, bottom, left, and right until each dark square is roughly centered on each color patch. Once done, click on this drop down and select Portrait. I found this option to be the most pleasing, especially when it comes to skin tones. Select Save to Lightroom, Save Calibration, and now you're going to name a preset that the Spider Checker app will make. Hit OK, and then press Quit. Lightroom has to reset, so quit Lightroom and open it up again. Once open, you'll now find a brand new preset in the user folder that you just made in the Spider Checker app. So now you'll be able to use this preset to get accurate colors for all your photos in that particular scene. First, you'll need to white balance your photo with the white balance dropper, then click on the new preset you just made, and you'll either see a big difference or a small difference in the photo. Either way, you now have the assurance that all the colors in that photo are completely accurate. Make any additional adjustments and you're done. That's pretty much it. I mean, think of it as a more accurate way to white balance your scene. With that said, let's go ahead and take some images and try to color correct it without the spider checker. And then we're gonna edit the photos with the spider checker. And so that's the Spider 5 Pro and the Spider Checker. Well, if you guys are interested in getting any one of these products, then check out the links in the description below. Data Color was kind enough to give you guys, my audience, a 15% discount if you decide to get any one of these products. Uh, just make sure to use the promo code Sydney at the checkout. Thank you, Data Color. So kind of you. Again, big thanks to Data Color for sponsoring this episode. If you have any questions about the Spider 5 Pro or the Spider Checker, or questions about filmmaking or camera gear, then let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.